Hello, today we're going to have a look at Microsoft Access and how to create a basic user interface system using the form design. This is one I've made earlier. I have tabs and in my home I have icons that a user can simply select and the forms will appear as a floating form for entry access to the actual database tables themselves. I can search through or I can go directly to create a brand new entry. So how did I do this? Very simply we just go straight to create and then within this area of forms we have other options with which we can choose or create different form styles. But we're going to go straight to blank form. I'm going to get rid of the all access objects to make more room and I'm going to close down my field list. So we have many controls at the top, but we're going to go directly for tab control. You'll notice an orange area up here. Make sure that you draw out any controls within this area. Straight away, you will see, it gives me a design. I'm going to drag that out to make it bigger. And now I have tabs. I have tab controls. So to begin with, let's just have a look to see what it looks like in form view. But when I go back to design view, you'll notice it changes. So we have a transparency behind it. I'm going to drag this out to make it bigger to work on. So straight away, I want to change the color of the background. So I'm going to go into property sheet, click within the squares. So that becomes detail rather than form. And I'm going to go straight for background colour. Within this section, you will note that Access has some themes for you to pick, but I'm not going to use that. I'm going to go straight in, straight into my recent colours, and I have a lovely red background. Just quickly check it out in view. And back to design view. Straight away, I have page one and page two. I want to alter these, so select them. again and I'm going to call page one home so this will change um, the name of it within the tab section page two I'm going to call enrollment if I want any other tabs I simply right click on a tab and I insert a page this is page four and I'm going to call this support. Back to home. So at the top, we have controls. We have many different items in here to choose from. We're going to go straight to button. And I'm going to draw out a button. Within this section, we have many different wizards to choose from. So we can record operations, form operations, report operations. But I simply want to put in a form. So I want a form to pop up as soon as the user accesses it. Next, I want this to be the enrollment form. I'm going to accept what it says. But where it says open form, I'm going to change this to be enrollment form as that is what will appear when it is selected or when a user hovers over it. You'll notice that I'm changing the commands as well because this will make it easier to see within the actual database itself and especially within the property sheet. So straight away I have enrollment form come up in the text. So let's go into view, select it and the form certainly does pop up but I want it to look like an image. So ensure that is highlighted, not anything else. We go to picture, I'm going to drop down a little bit here. And within here, you will see there are different options that you can select from, from the access system. But we're going to go into browse. I've already created images for this database, but you'll notice they're not there. It's because it's seeing them as bitmap images. So I'm going to force in my images using all files and I'm going to use my enrollment image 
and say OK. Straight away, it's not big enough. So you can either go over to the right hand side, your property sheet and make it bigger. Or you can make it as big as you want it to be. And click off. So straight away, I now have a working icon. And if you put in more of these icons, more of these buttons, your forms will appear one after another and they can also appear on top of one another so that you can move them around the screen. So because it's a floating form, I'm able to edit it wherever I want on the screen. Let's go back. So that's how you create a button. So what if I wanted to put options into the system, such as existing fields? So if I just go into Enrollment, I'm going to drop down the Enrollment table and I'm going to put in my enrollment ID, my class ID, I think I'll have my student ID and my teacher ID in there all together. Now when I run it, you will notice that they all appear simply. And again, you can just go through the whole list or you can indeed enter brand new information within the system. So that is simple enough to create. Back to design view. You can build upon this and of course you can enter other items within it. You can enter images if you want to put headings, reports, anything like that. You can also put charts in. You can put combination boxes in. But this gives you a simple breakdown into how easy it is to enter information and to create a user interface within the access environment.